Yo, what's up, everybody? How's it going today? We're playing uh, Santa Ginga. We're going into the mid lane. I might actually be playing against the Phantom Assassin, which is pretty neat. Like, I'll play against the Phantom Assassin as a Sand King. That's sick. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh, you may see over there, I put the little t shirt thing on there. Right? I even got like a scrolling text. Look at the technology, man. Look at the technology. Um, it's a slideshow with the different pictures. So we have four colors available. Black, right, white, okay, um, a light gray, and a maroon, which is the red one that's currently on the screen. Uh, maroon is like easily the best one. Right? Like maroon is definitely the best one. At this point, we have already sold five t-shirts, which I'm pretty happy about. I mean, shit's only been available for a little bit. Admittedly, two of those were to me, so that I don't know if that counts, but I'm going to count it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if it counts, but I better believe that I will count it. Absolutely, I'm gonna count that. And yeah. By the way, this is just normal Dota. I know, I know. It's just today's modifiers are hella fucking lame. Like, they're just so fucking lame. Didn't even want to really bother with it. Um, Who are we playing against? Magnus! That's fine, I'll play against the Magnus. That's even better than Phantom Assassin, because Phantom Assassin's like a little ranged and shit. No, like, Phantom Assassin is essentially a ranged hero, like, on a cooldown. Well, you know, Magnus isn't, which is cool. But yeah. Now I can't just spam him with this. It's pretty neat, right? But yeah, so t-shirts 50 bucks, you just donate directly to me, right? You just give me the money. Um, and I'm gonna handle everything from that point on. And the 50 bucks includes everything. Includes shipping and all of that. I will eventually, like, not too, not in the too distant future, of course. But I will email you and ask you for your, you know, like, details. In terms of, like, where do you want me to ship it? Or where do you want them to ship it? And all of that. And, uh, yeah. Hey, I'm Aluna GOW. Thanks for giving Hellbound Dragon it's a sub. actually six. Two from you, two from me, and two from other guys that I'm not recalling. <laughs> Bottle Hype Train. Is it six? I think it's five. I think two from you, two from me, and then one more from uh, Biggie. I think that's where we are right now. God, you do a lot of damage. Okay. Well, this is annoying. He's actually just getting all of these fucking denies. But I mean, he hits so hard. Okay. Hey, can you explain how we give you our email and stuff? Uh, so you automatically give me your email because you're donating via PayPal, right? And that means I have to have your, like, you know, I get to see the email that you do that with. And that's the email I'll be using to contact you afterwards. So I already have your email. You don't have to worry about that. Um, Don't worry, I'm not going to give the email out to anyone. I'm just going to use it to contact you and ask you for your information. So I can then pass it on to... um. DFTBA, so they can actually, like, properly handle the shipping and all of that. Dude, this guy's level 4. I'm actually getting so wrecked by these denies. It's actually crazy. Alright. What can I do to buy myself a little bit more damage? What options do you really have? Hmm. But, uh... Okay, let me do this. Heal up. I don't think I can get him. I don't think I can go for that. I would like to, but it's just kind of a little bit risky. We did get some good damage in, though, so at least that. Get a second Quelling Blade. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. I mean, it would be pretty neat if it did, but I don't think it does. Alright. There he is. We also, like, caught up a little bit, so that's good. <sighs> but yeah. So, uh, that's, that's the situation. That's the situation. We've got the t-shirts all good to go, right? Like, it's all committed. We need to sell 72 minimum. Um, at 100, it becomes, like, we get more out of the donations, right? Like, if we do 100, then we 
get then everything becomes cheaper and at 110 we have reached our goal for the fundraising stream entirely based purely on t-shirts to your constant harass damage zone him out by slowly grinding him out yeah i'm just gonna get myself like face boots right now though uh magnus is probably going bottom because i kind of like that hey love room thank you so much for that i assume the 50 goals for the t-shirt um that's something i i would like to have you state right like that's kind of important to me that you actually like actively say yes this is for the t-shirt so i have surety but i'm just gonna assume that is for the t-shirt thank you very much my man thank you very much and with that i think we're at number six right please save your donations until the 26th store right please save them um because i do prefer it if we you know have it all at once it just creates this like really cool atmosphere of everybody like coming together as a community do you ship to Brazil? Brazil, yes. International shipping, worldwide, anywhere you want. Right? Worldwide, international shipping. Um, and as I mentioned, with the 50 bucks, everything is taken care of. Right? Like, your shipping is included. Uh, no matter where you are. Like, don't worry about that. Even to North Korea shipping. No, I already stated that we don't ship to North Korea. I'll be good to know. Fuck, man. I'm screwed then. <laughs> We already had this. What's about today? Okay, we'll wait until the 26th. Yeah, please wait until the 26th. If you can't make it to the 26th, uh, then please feel free, of course. But if you can, I would prefer it if you waited. Wow, I cannot believe that still hit me. That is absurd. I mean, that was so not in range. Holy shit, that was totally not in range. Okay. All right, Dota. All right, I'm gonna get some more stats here. That's fine. I mean, we're not doing super well, but we're also not doing super horribly, so I'll take it. All right. And, uh, you. Man, I still can't believe that actually hit me. That was totally not in range. I'm calling bullshit on that. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should just not play Sanky. <laughs> Wait, worldwide? Anywhere you want? I want one to Wakanda then. Good sir. No problem. Absolutely. Thank you, Hexy man. Appreciate it. But yeah, absolutely going to Wakanda. Uh easy peasy. Easy peasy. Alright, I'm gonna grab myself this and some TPs. And we're just gonna, like, continue sitting here. I mean, again, this isn't actually that bad. We're actually kind of doing reasonably. We're actually doing kind of reasonably. Just... We have the... We have last hits. Like, that's the thing. Right? Like, yeah, he, he's ahead a bit on levels because all of his early denies. But, like, right now, we're just doing fine on last hits. And that's what matters. Hey, hey, Tele! Thank you so much for the sub, man. Appreciate that very much. Appreciate that very much. Want to talk about Deadpool 2 really quick? Uh, went to see Deadpool 2 last night. Great movie. Um, I gotta say, I actually kind of liked it a bit more than the first one. Um, and I, I, I don't know. Like I feel like this with a lot of superhero movies. But what I like about the sequels is like they always have to spend like 90% of the time of the first one on the origin story. Like the first, uh, okay, bottom rune, bottom rune taken, bottom rune taken. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. He's right here. He was right there, yep. But, you know, like with Deadpool, right? It's another example where they just like, they spend most of the like first movie just like doing origin story. And I'm just like, okay, well, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I kind of got to do it. He's back. Um, you kind of gotta do it, but I'm just like, oh, okay. And then with the second movie, they just get to be like, well, you know who the fuck this is, right? And you're like, yeah, I know who that is. And then you just get like two hours of Deadpool, which I'm like, yeah, let's go. I like two hours of Deadpool. One thing I want to recommend, I'm not going to spoil anything. I know the movie just got released. It's great. Again, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, I, I enjoyed it as much as, uh, Infinity War, um, like, not gonna lie, I thought the movie... Like, I enjoyed it in a very different 
way. Like Infinity War is a lot more serious, uh, but Deadpool, Deadpool 2 is just absolutely hilarious. Um, but the thing about Deadpool 2, please stay until the second end credit scene. It's actually the funniest part of the entire movie. I want one here. You can ship it to this address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Washington, D.C. 20500. USA name is Donald J. <laughs> hey, I mean, if he gives us 50 bucks, we'll ship it over there, no problem. <laughs> right? You need to get a deny. It's true, I'm actually behind my goal here. Feels bad, man. I do have to get a deny. I mean, like, my current strategy is to just, like, kill all of the creeps. Like, so that, you know, I don't ever really have to interact with this. With this Magnus. Which is working reasonably well. Oh, the Magnus is top. I don't think I can help, really. Maybe... Oh, he's already dead. Wow, that guy is like mega dead. All right, I guess we we're able to help. Suck. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Getting our, you know, getting our payback for that very very early game. But yeah, stay for the second end credit scene. Don't just stay for the first one. Like they have two end credit scenes. This the first one is kind of funny and cute and whatever. The second one is just incredible. It's actually the best part of the entire movie. It's actually the best part of the entire movie. And I do also want to give credit for something else. Um, you know, with a lot of movies, like with the trailer, they, they just give everything away in the trailer. You know, like I saw the trailer for Rampage, I believe is what it's called recently. Right? Like, which is the like new King Kong, whatever the fuck that is. I don't know. I don't know. It's got the rock in it. Like, whatever the fuck that movie is. I saw the trailer for that. And I'm just like, well, I saw the entire movie. The monkey's gonna die at the end, and hero like the monkey's gonna grow bigger and bigger, and like heroically sacrifice itself at the end. I, I just saw everything. I know everything there is to know about this movie before having seen it, just because I saw the trailer. Right? Deadpool does you not do that. You said, Please wait. I saw Owe turning, and I was getting my little dicky game going, but you interrupted me. So yeah. <laughs> also, please do not contact me through my email. I'm very private and actively learn algorithms to avoid. Okay, well, Charlie, I, I think I have your Discord, so I'll just message you on Discord. If that's alright. That's alright. Like, that's always the thing. Um, If you don't give me a different way of communicating with you, then I'll just contact you through the email. But if you don't want that, you can just include a different way for me to communicate with you, and then we Gucci. Um, but yeah. But, like, I watched the Rampage trailer, and I'm just like, well, I just saw the entire movie. Right? Like, I just saw the entire movie. This is the entire thing. I don't have to go see it anymore. With Deadpool, they did a really, really good job at making it so that what you saw in the trailers was funny, and it happens in the movies, but it definitely does not spoil the entire movie. Absolutely not. There are many parts that are... Anyway, let's just leave it at that. I don't want to wanna get into any idea. I don't want to spoil anything. Don't want to spoil anything. Great movie. Go see Deadpool 2. I very much enjoyed it. Okay. Please play Phantom Lancer Midas Mutation and get OC. The fuck is OC? Octarine Core. Used W a few times in a row. Ah, I get it. Uh, you want to kill that guy? Go Blink Dagger. That was a pretty good Blink Dagger timing, honestly. I'm pretty happy with it. There she is. Oh, there's a guy there. That's okay. Cancelled my ultimate, but on the upside, he's also dead, so it's done. <laughs> like, I'll take it. Although, this is a bit annoying, the battle hunger here. What do you build on Sanking these days? Do you like go Aghanims? Is Aghanims still a thing on this hero? I like Aghanims. Okay, we got healing. I mean, he's dead. Good. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Now, what do you actually build on this hero? Aghanims? 
Aghanim seems to still be good. All right, let's go for Aghanim still. Because I, I do actually like Aghanims a lot on Sand King. I think it's a really neat item. Yeah, that Magnus is pretty good, by the way. I do want to point that out. Like, I mean, I feel like if the landing stage didn't make it obvious enough. But, like, you know, this right here is smart. Like, he knows I'm top and fighting there. Like, maybe, like, for some reason, he decided that he couldn't back up the top lane. So, he just pushed down the tower instead. And that's exactly what you should do in that kind of scenario. You should just go ahead and break down the enemy tower as much as you can. How's our Luna doing? La Luna. La Luna. Alright. Almost level 12 here. What's my thing here? Uh, stun two or more heroes at once, three, five, seven times. Alright, well, I haven't really had an opportunity for that. But, well, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Oh, that's a big stack. We should get that stack. You want to get that stack? Like, I want to get that stack, man. That's that's a sick stack. Oh, it's not quite enough yet. Okay, there we go. That counts, right? That's more than two. That guy's dead. Uh, da -da. Got him. Yeah, that counts. Alright, cool. <laughs> nice! Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, fuck him up. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. Because now we actually can't take this. Well, that's okay. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It kind of sucks, but that's fine. We're getting top as well. I'm gonna grab this. How the fuck have we managed to get a fucking tier 2 at minute 15? Oh, he. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, one thing I also want to mention. If if you do buy a t-shirt, you do also get a donation bottle and um, Soya Arcana. Like, you also get those things. Right? Like, inside of OA. I don't know if you care for those, but you're also getting them. You're also getting a sick t-shirt. But, you know. Just thought it might be a good idea to bring this up. Uh, let's go over here. Grab this really quick. And, um... Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well now, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm close to my Aghanims here. I really don't need much more. And then we're gonna be able to actually, uh... Just have, like, the world's longest borrow strike. <laughs> Fully intentional, don't worry about it. Just needed to make sure I get that money. All about the creeps, man. All about the economy. watch trailers. Period. The concept was invented so people could appreciate the more artistic moments of the film after viewing them. Hence the name trailer Modern Culture is the one that is getting it wrong when complaining about spoilers. You know what? I've always wondered why they're called trailer even though you watched them ahead of the movie. That's actually a good point. Like, I was always like, that's kind of weird. But at the same time, you know, like English language, it does get a little bit weird. Now, I do think that like a teaser kind of thing, you know, a trailer is not a bad idea inherently. I just really don't like that it's like, especially like in the recent years, it's just become really bad. But you like watch the trailer and then everything is just spoiled. Like, it's just come on. I know you want to like have your strong moments shown. I think the best trailers, right? The best trailers um, are the ones where really like they just take a scene out of the movie and then just focus on that right and no, don't make it like an essential scene don't make it anything like important but make it something that kind of like shows why this movie is worth watching it doesn't even have to be about the plot right and i think that about the main storyline and i think that works really well for a lot of movies you know deadpool did the thing did that with their traders and you watch that and, and it's like hey this is cool like i want to see this movie 
But in the end, they didn't really matter those scenes in the movie themselves. Uh, or like, I wouldn't say they didn't matter. It's just they weren't, you know, like... The most... Imp Again, I do not want to spoil anything. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. We got ourselves Agonus. We got ourselves Agonus, so that's pretty sick. By the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We'll definitely appreciate that. And, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just grab ourselves that Aghanims. Right? Like, that's pretty powerful. I, I like Aghanims a lot on this hero. Like, that is definitely uh, a strong, solid item. What are we going for next? Chat. What, what do you buy on Zanking after Aghanims? Shiva. Can stay a team? I actively avoid trailers since they just ruin the fun 99% of the time. Teasers, on the other hand, are somewhat okay since they hook people in without having to show too much. Also, trailer might have been at a point after a movie instead of before. Yeah. No, I do like the, like, you know, the, like, shorter teasers. Ah, I don't know. Anyway. I feel like enough movie talk for now. <sighs> you guys think Shiva's good? I mean, Shiva is pretty powerful. It's just also pretty expensive. What do we need against their team? I feel like we need like a Heaven's Halberd or something like that. No? Aeon Disc. I don't know, Aeon Disc can be really awkward. Because, you know, like, you jump in with your ultimate. Aeon Disc happens. And then your ultimate doesn't do any damage. That's not optimal. You know, that's not really what you want. Armor, I think, is a good idea. So let's just go for that. They do have a lot of physical damage. They do also have a lot of magic damage, though. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes there just isn't one right answer. Lotus Orb, I think, is actually really good here. <laughs> yeah, I actually think Lotus Orb is probably the best item you could go for. Trailer equals teaser Deadpool. Perfect example, as oh. movies tend to only have either slash or you mix the terms up. For example, the David Beckham teaser is compared to the trailers. Again, never ever watch trailers. They are super pointless to everyone except execs. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, that's maybe going a bit far. It is super pointless. Again, I would recommend you watch the Deadpool trailers. They're funny. And they don't spoil Jack. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Grab this. I think Lotus Orb is good here. What do you guys think? Chad, what, what do you think about the Lotus Orb? You think that might be a good choice here? Yeah, I feel like the Lotus Orb might be a good, might be a good, good option. I still have to get some of these Burrow Strikes. I can't kill the tower. I'm just gonna die. Let me like go rush. Let me get my Scotty. Then. Yeah, I don't really think we can just break in. We've got like too much AOE. It's really, really risky for us to just force our way in there. We'll just like get RP'd and die. It's not really worth it. You know, it's better to just kind of farm up because we are in a really good position at the moment. We have good map control, so we don't really need to make anything happen right away. Right? That's just not that important. I like to know what happens in the movies and I waste 30 minutes on a shit show. There's, there's actually some people like that too. Like Mickey, for example, she doesn't mind knowing everything that happens in a movie before seeing it. And to me, that's just, like, blasphemy, right? It's just, like, how dare you? How dare you? It's, like, she actively asks for spoilers, right? Like, if we are watching a TV show that I've seen and she hasn't, then she'll actively ask me for spoilers because she wants to know what happens before it happens. And I'm just, like, how dare you? That's just... God, that, that 
That hurts me in my soul. Monstrous. That's exactly the right word, Charlie. That's exactly the right word. A monster. But, hey, you know, people are different. Some people like it that way. Hey. By the way, did that Magnus RP me up there? I'm not entirely sure if he did. I think I heard something. But I don't know if that was RP or if that was just like the, the shockwave. Man, they really do have a lot of AoE. Modern movies are fairly linear, so with a minimal amount of guesswork, you can actually predict the ending. Um, can I actually say one thing that I thought was kind of neat about Deadpool? Um, Deadpool did actually have quite a few moments in there where I really wasn't quite sure which direction the movie was going to go in. Because here's the cool thing about Deadpool. Usually in, you know, most superhero movies, you know, you're, you're watching the, the good guys. Deadpool is not the good guy. <laughs> So that kind of made it really difficult to tell what exactly was going to happen because I'm just like, well, I, I really don't know what the fuck this guy is going to do next, right? I just know for sure that this is not the good guy. <laughs> oh, fuck, rip, creep. Rip Charles. Alright. Yes, act on that guy. Go in here. Uh, oh, guys, guys, chill, I'm not there. Why the fuck are you not here then? Well, because I wanted to get my Lotus Sword. Well, we got him anyway. Don't worry. But. No. Guys. Nice blink axe, nice blink you got there. The other yeah. Damn. Got him. I gotta get some more of these borrow strikes. Go, go, go. Why are you standing there? God damn it. Okay, there we go. Got the borrow strike. You know, this is actually, objectively speaking, the right play. This is not even BM. This is just the right play. Totally worth it. <laughs> I, that's that's actually kind of funny when you go for a fountain dive and it's just actually totally the right play. That's funny. All right. Let's go over here. Cool. I need a few more of these. The no, my quest. What's your quest? Gotta get burrow strikes. It's actually just. Oh, okay. It's not even that hard. Although I may be dead, which might make it harder. Oh, I just kind of wasted the burrow strike. I thought it was gonna be in there. Oh, fuck. Three, two, two, Three, two, two. Three, two, two, we would never. I'm... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we may be dead. Okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Nothing. Nothing that's a problem. Matchmaking was longer than this game. That's actually true. That is actually just true. We spent like 30 minutes searching for this game. <laughs> I don't know why looking for this game took so long, man. Game is hard, man. Game is hard. What can you do? Found an editor yet. Hey, Mr. Bean. Uh, thank you for the five months. Actually, yes. I have actually found an editor. Um, we are working on a Slay the Spire video. Well, by working on it, I mean I'm currently writing it, in the process of writing it. And then once I have finished writing it, my guy will start editing the video. 
Uh, but yeah, I found an editor. I'm actually really happy with who I found as well. Um, from what I can tell, he's quite competent. Um, so, looking forward to that. Although, currently, I just got a lot going on, like, with other things that I need to take care of. Meaning that I'm not entirely able to, like, invest quite as much time into, like, writing the video as I would like to. Um, but what I, the state I'm currently at, just to kind of, like, make sure that you guys know that I'm not just, like, you know, that it's uh, one of those things where I'm just like, I would like to do this, and then I never do it. Um, I'm actually at a point where I'm pretty much, pretty much got all the content, uh, I wanted to is not the good guy oh. oh no you don't know much about Let's the go. comics do you in one of them they go into specific detail about how he lived for billions of years immortal and all that and he rejected an invitation from Marvel's heaven twice <laughs> I'm not sure if that's telling me that he's the good guy or not I I really don't know anything about the comics by the way like I don't comics is not really a thing where I live we had like Donald Duck and shit but we didn't have Marvel you know, when I was a kid, that wasn't really a thing. But, um, as I was saying, as I was saying, uh, I have the video at a point where I would say I have most of the content laid out that I want to have in the video. Now I just need to put it in a proper order and then properly write it so that it actually sounds like something that people uh, would talk about. Or like, like the way you would talk about it in a video you know what i mean i need to write a script i do have everything else kind of in pretty good shape and taken care of uh which is neat like i'm happy about that right and by the way by the way i thought i was gonna have like a page of like hey this, these are things i would like to change on slay the spa i'm on page four <laughs> i'm on page four i have been I, the more I think about it, the more they, I can see there's wrong with the game. So, there's even a comic in which Deadpool leaves the comics and kills the writers. Yeah, I've actually read that one, funnily enough. I read uh, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Um, that's one of the few comics I have ever actually read. I have not read a lot of comics, but that is one that I have. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, we had five out of seven. Wait, are we throwing again? Cool. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, Ancient is dying? I need vision. I got it, I got it, I got it. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Priorities straight, I like it. Kill the Ancient, get it! Boom, perfect. That's efficiency. You get the quest, you get the game, done. By the end of your video, Stay Spy won't be a card game anymore, it will become a MOBA. No, there's just a lot wrong with it. Like, you may not believe so right now, but I think after I, I finish my video, you'll be like, Oh yeah, okay, I get where you're going with this. Mm. Oh, cool. Finally, I don't have a cave-in. I keep getting cave -ins. Gotta play some Ogre Magi. Muggy, Ogre Muggy. Was it worth the queue? I mean, it only took like half an hour, so that's good. All right, give me go and get that quest. It's the most important thing. I gotta get these shards, right? Like, what would I do if I don't finish my quest? Right? That's just all I have to ask. What do I do if I don't finish it? Oh, we're already queuing, all right. <laughs> but yeah, like very early on, the Magnus was out farming me quite handily. Um, actually not that much. Uh, here there was a pretty big gap, but uh, I came back, I came back. You know, I started beating him pretty quickly. Anyway, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.